hello youtube welcome to a new video my name is abuze on today's video i'm going to be sharing with you guys how i export my images out of photoshop and still retain my image quality anytime i post them on social media like instagram because i've been receiving a series of questions from you guys like why do my images look so sharp on social media to be honest with you guys not all these images are sharp straight out of the camera because i usually apply some tricks which uh boost the sharpness and textures of my images before i export them out of photoshop and these tricks as well uh limit the compression which social media usually does to your images and reduce the quality of uh of your images while uploading them on any social media platform most uh, most especially uh instagram and rest so without any further ado let's jump into photoshop and see what these tricks are so anytime i finish editing my picture the very first thing that i usually does is i flatten the image by right clicking on on the background layer and flatten the image so after flattening the image the next thing that i will do is i will uh go to uh, my frequency suppression action and play them again not that we are going to do frequency suppression again but we are going to uh uh use the high fs of the frequency suppression action layers this high fs that you're seeing so what you are going to do is we are going uh, we are going to drag it out of the frequency suppression folder and then we delete the other layers let me zo zoom in and see so if you do before and after you see how it adds sharpness and then details to our image but this is too intense and we don't want it to apply all over the image what we do is i will add layer mask to the image and then i will press ctrl or command i to invert and hide the effect uh, the effect of the high fs the next thing that i will do is i will go over to my normal brush tool make sure i'm on white foreground and then i brush on the areas where i want more sharpness and texture to be so areas like the face the clothes these are areas that needs to to be sharp most times i usually brush all over my subject because i want my subject to stand out out of the background entirely so i will brush all over the subject and anything else that is important to the viewer's eye of my image to the viewer's eye that is view my image sorry so like this flower as well i'm going to brush out i think we got we are good let's zoom in let's do before after before after before and after and i usually keep the opacity between around 30 to 50 so for this image let's try 30 and see 50 and see before after before and after as you can see we add more sharpness and texture to the image and uh, the very next thing that i'm going to do is i'll flatten the image again it's not that necessary we can still export without flattening and then we go to file export and then we export for wave So actually this is where the uh, second trick is i always export on png 24 because uh, the biggest advantage of png over jpg is that the compression is lossless meaning there is no loss in quality and uh, png also handles detailed and high contrast images as well so i usually export with png 24 everything remains at its uh as it is transparency checked 
italics on check and then embedded color prof uh, profile on check as well and then so, uh, another most important thing is you are going to make sure you check convert to adobe srgb and then the final thing that i'm going to touch here is i'm going to uh go over to my height here and then i change it to one five zero zero that's one five hundred and then i hit enter the png size is uh, a bit higher than the jpg but it's not that much that uh that you worry about and then we hit save and then we navigate to where we, keep, we want to keep the image desktop and then we go for save so basically that's the tricks i usually uh, apply on my images anytime that i want to export to retain my maximum image quality if you like the, the video please hit the like button subscribe and don't forget to turn on post notifications so that you won't miss any of my latest content thank you for watching